Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's good tonight. Um, I just wanted to drop a little bit of quick information that has happened today. <clears throat> the first bit of information is that um, it looks like Kendrick Bourne is back on the uh, the COVID list. Um, he was initially put on, and then he had two negative tests, which he came off. And now that he's back on, so there's definitely something fishy going on with this uh, league-mandated uh, COVID-19 test that a guy could have uh, a positive test followed by two negative tests followed by another positive test. Um, so looks like the 49ers are going to be without him, I would assume, uh, their next game. Um, good news is... Uh, Hopefully they get Brandon Ayuk back um, and maybe a chance at Raheem Mostert, but uh, we will see. The uh, practice window for Richard Sherman has been open. Uh, looks like he'll get a chance to see if he'll uh, get some get back on the field before the end of the season. Um, I myself thought that that was uh, next to uh, impossible thing to happen this year, just based on you know, his lower leg injuries that he's had and just the whole way the season's going. But uh, that window has been open, so we will see within the next couple weeks if uh, Richard Sherman will return to the field before the end of the season. Um, he gives us a little depth for what it's worth uh, with uh, Jason Verrett and Emmanuel Mosley playing well. And uh, so we will see on that one. Um, the only other part oh, – the only other news is that uh, the 49ers have uh, promoted uh, Jonathan Ciprian and River Craycraft from the practice squad to the active roster. Um, I personally would love to see Jonathan Ciprian in a game along with Tarverius Moore. Um, the Niners are going to go into free agency this year with most of their secondary becoming free agents. And uh, if this season keeps going the way that it looks like it's going to go, it's definitely – doesn't hurt to get a look at some guys who might end up actually being better than the guys that you have on the field and you pay them a cheaper amount of money. So um, I was listening to a podcast. I forget who it was, but they said that because uh, Tavarius Moore was the pick of the Niners uh, former defensive back co coach, Jeff Halfley. And he was the, a guy that, uh, he wanted to, them to draft him. And so they did. Um, and for him and with him not being there anymore, um, and he moved on, uh, it, they say that it, there's a good chance that, uh, Tavarius Moore may never get on the field because he doesn't have that guy advocating for him anymore. Um, which is sad because, you know, the safeties that we have at the moment don't make plays. And anytime you see Tavarius Moore, it looks like he's, uh, you know, he's just, he's rangier. Um, he's not as big of a hitter, but he's, he can cover sideline to sideline way better. Um, but sometimes when guys get drafted, uh, they're, you know, it could be a, a certain coach that wants them drafted. It, like in this case was an assistant. And now that he's not on the team anymore, um, he's not like a Shanahan guy, apparently, or a Lynch guy. Maybe it was a, a guy that was pulling for him to get drafted. And now that he's not on the team. But, I mean, it's obvious that the 49ers need to make changes at safety. And why not look within your own roster? But who knows? Maybe things will change and uh, Tavarius Moore will get on the field and Jonathan Cipriano will get on the field and then we'll have a different conversation. But those are the little tidbits of news. We got Sherman uh, um, practice window open, Ciprian and River Craycraft on the active roster, and um, – we also have Kendrick Bourne miraculously back on the COVID protocol list. So try to figure that one out, wrap your brain around it. I don't understand. So, all right, guys, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy. And uh, if anything drops, I'll let you know. Until then, catch you on the flip side. See ya.